What's going on guys, Luca here again, welcome to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. So in this video we're going to explain some new cards that are actually coming out on the 13th of February and also some cards that I'd really really like to see added into the game. So it says, well you, everyone got an in-game message saying that on the 13th of February at 7am GMT after the maintenance uh, there's actually going to be some new cards added to the game. Each of the legendary duelists will get new cards that will be added to the pool of obtainable cards. The announcement shows the list of the new super rare cards. Each legendary duelist gets one new super rare card which will only drop from level 30 or higher. In addition to that all of them will also drop new normal and rare rarity cards. No cards will be removed from their current pool of rewards. So, the, uh, Yugi's, Yugi's uh, super rare is actually Gaia the Dragon Champion, which is a very, very good uh, fusion monster. Uh, obviously, he used it quite a lot in the uh, the anime. Uh, Kaiba's is actually Familiar Knight. Uh, Joey's is Guilford the Lightning. Uh, Mai's is Amazon Amazonus Swords Woman. Uh, Tayers is actually Dian Keto the Cure Master, I believe that is. Weevils is Grass Chopper. Rex Raptors is Serpent Knight Dragon. Uh, <coughs> Mako Tsunamis is Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto. Bandit Keys is Stimpak. Uh, Ishizu's is actually Zolgar. And Odeon, Odeon's is Temple of the King. So they're the cards that are going to be added in on the 13th of January, uh, 13th of February, sorry, at 12 uh, 12 a.m. GMT. Um, so I will definitely be doing. I'll definitely be doing a video of me grinding for them. I don't know whether they're going to put them in packs or not. Um, I would really, really like them to bring out some new packs. Um, but also, uh, apparently for the fifth pack is... Uh, well, it doesn't really say much, but apparently it's going to be a Moki Moki pack, which would be very, very cool. Um, also, cards that I'd really, really like to see added to the game. So, as far as I know... They have announced that they are adding Exodia into the game, as well as uh, Yugi Yugi Moto. Obviously, Yugi is the kid, not Yami Yugi, the Pharaoh. Um, also, Marik, who is Ashizu's brother, and also there was another character, but my mind has gone blank. But anyway, cards that I'd like to see added to the game. So obviously, Exodia semi-confirmed not sure if it is um also the egyptian god cards now i'd if the well if they add marik then it'd be kind of cool to maybe add to his pool of cards like when you his rewards from level 40 i'd like to see yugi's if you beat yugi at level 40 you have a chance of getting slifer uh, if you beat Kyber at level 40 you have a chance of getting obelisk and if you beat marik you get a chance of uh packing the wing dragon of Ra which would be very very cool I'm not going to lie the Egyptian god cards would be very very good to be added to the game um, also Monster Reborn uh, Monster Reborn I don't know whether they would add it I believe it is banned uh, or, or at least on the forbidden list I'm not too sure um, I don't really stay uh, in focus of the real life dueling if you know what i mean like the championships and stuff um also mirror force now i know there's mirror wall but me i'm a big abuser of uh, mirror force mirror force what a card that is like again i think that's been banned as well uh but they could always add it in maybe for like dueling against your friends and stuff that would be kind of cool uh pot of greed as well that would be a good card to be added and also down the line, I would really, really like them to add the GX series. Um, obviously, you'll have Jaden, Chaz, and Zane. Uh, who else is there? Um, Cyrus as well. Um, but yeah, Jaden especially. At least Jaden anyway, because um, the Elemental Heroes were amazing. Uh, they're probably my favourite Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time. I actually have them in a binder, like quite close to me as I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, the Elemental Heroes were amazing. They'd be really, really fun, especially to throw into a fusion deck. That'd be amazing. Um, also, the likes of uh, Zane's Cyber Dragon deck. That'd be very good um, for me. 
the fish like the Yu-Gi-Oh series with Yugi and then the second one with Jaden they were my favorite just because after that I felt like it got a bit too complicated with the synchro summons the pendulum summons all this random summoning stuff that I'd have no clue about um, but yeah the old ones uh, nice and simple which is very very good which is why i prefer them um but yeah obviously like i was saying zane cyber dragon deck would be amazing uh, even um cyrus's roid deck so he's a uh, gyroid jetroid uh submarine roid or whatever they were called uh, i can't remember some of the others uh the there's a cy cycle roid maybe i'm not too sure uh there was also the um the train that he had like the steam train i think the other character was actually Ale was it Alexa? It was something like that. It began with A. She had like the uh, the oh, what was it called? Was it ro roller roll like roller blade like summit blader? I can't remember the name exactly. You guys will probably correct me in the comments anyway. Um, but also you had Chaz who obviously had his Ojama deck, and then he ended up getting the XYZs who as well they could come before the gx season gets added uh, just for the fact that kaiba used them a lot as well uh, obviously you had the x dragon head y no y dragon head x head cannon and z metal tank i believe it was and there was loads of different fusion monsters for them there was like three or four uh, fusion monsters and that is and then obviously you had the it was it v tiger jet and y no v tiger jet and there was another one, and I can't remember what it is. But yeah, anyway, those are the cards that I'd really, really like to see added. Also, the seal of Oricalcos would be very cool, uh, especially if, like a throwback from the anime TV show. Um, I'm trying to think of some other cards that I would really, really like to see. Um, see, I'm trying to think of the ones that aren't too overpowered, but I can't really think of any off the top of my head. I should have really wrote a list, uh, but I kind of just wanted to get this video out there. Um, also... Uh, another thing for the GX series, there was actually the oh, what was his name? The guy with the dinosaur deck. Uh, he had like the like an upgraded Rex Raptor deck, um, which was very very cool. All them cards were amazing. Um, but yeah, mainly this video was just about talking about some of the cards that are getting added for definite on the 13th of February, and also the some cards that I, that I would really like to get added. Um, obviously, like I was saying, I'll just go over what I was on about before. Uh, each legendary duelist, if you challenge them at level 30 or higher, uh, they actually get their own um, another super rare from the rewards. Uh, Yugi got Gaia the Dragon Champion. Kaiba got Familiar Knight. Joey Wheeler got Guilford the Lightning, Mai got Amazonus Swords Woman, Taya got uh, Keto the Cure Master, Weevil got Grass Chopper, uh, Rex got Serpent Knight Dragon, and uh, Mako Tsunami got Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto, Bandit Keith got Stimpak, uh, Ishizu Ishtar got Zolga, El Zolga, and uh, Odeon got Temple of Kings. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what cards you would like to see added, and I will see you all in the next video. Video. Peace.